Welcome back, Admirals, to part four of my Warplan Pacific Allied campaign. And as we can see here from the report, um, our submarines aren't doing much because they've only got one, and their torpedoes aren't very good either. Meanwhile, the, um, the Japanese... are doing a number on our merchant fleet. Okay, so there's five more merchant fleet ships, groups, whatever, that have that have um, gotten sunk. So, let's take a look real quick here. Just remind us what happened here. So, we just got finished a battle here where the Japanese tried to invade Henderson Field. Um, our guys have lost a huge amount of, uh, of efficiency, so we're going to send them back to port. And these guys here are not so bad, and we're going to send them back to port. All right. And this guy here is returning to port. So we'll be sending this skipjack out here to try to interdict some of their supplies. All right. Just look just making sure that <clears throat> all of uh Okay, so we got this core here. So notice he's he's embarked with a land unit there. So we just go disembark. Uh, would have been nicer if he had gone over here, but that's the way that goes. All right. Let's see. Do we have any other moves that we need to make here right off the bat? Then we need to. I think we have a carrier over here. Yep, Hornet. Hornet coming down to New Caledonia. And here we have our fleet. These battleships are going to be out of uh, out of duty for a while. So what I'm going to do is, like always, let's see, who do we give it to? Let's give it to, see the um, Saratoga already has a screen. I'm going to give these guys a screen as well. Okay, so that's four times anti-air. All right, let's see what we've got here. 32nd Division is ready to... Um, ready to come out. And I think... Yep, he's a division. All right, so... We'll put him there. I don't think we have anything else. Burma Corps will be coming out soon. So we're getting a bunch of supply, supply trucks, but what we really need is merchant marines. So let, let's just take a look at what's going on here. So... And the problem with the UK, you see, is that you want to build troops because their experience level is so high, but your problem is logistics. And every time you buy something, buy a um, large core, that's going to cost you 30 in logistics.
Merchant Marine doesn't cost you anything on logistics. Let me see here. Army Corps, 234. Uh, well, thing of it is, is that I think I need to... I need to buy another larger Army Corps there. U.S. This will be the last of the um, CVLs. This, will, this, this, I believe, is the fourth CVL. We're going to purchase him. And even though I want to buy submarines now, there's no doubt about it. We've got to build Merchant Marine. Because we're taking too much of a hit. Soviet Union, China, upkeep is 70. Notice I, that number is very high. I want all my reinforcements going into my units that I have there instead of building new units. Australia, production 9, upkeep 10. Okay, so that's a real problem. So I'm going to drop this down. to 20, but we need to do something here. Australia needs more production, and the only way to get it there is to send them some more production. So let's see this. So let's go to Australia. And let's see. How is how's Australia doing? They don't have much oil either. So, U.S. to Australia. Let's ten, send them to, to production and to oil. Okay. And when you think about um, um, supply and your merchant marine, Okay, remember, these are all the islands that your merchant marine is supporting, okay? And when you look at the United Kingdom, look at, all, look at all these guys that they're supporting. Okay, so, I mean, eventually... Either we're going to have to start upping this up. I mean, they're going to have so much... The, the UK has got so much territory, it's got to cover. All right, that we'll probably end up having to send them even more, more production. But for right now, that's just going to have to do. All right. So let's go back over here. Australia. So let's hope we get some production in here. 10, that would be 19. Canada. Canada, I'm going to hold back for Merchant Marine. It's going to take a while to get to 100. But we need Merchant Marine. Communist China. No upkeep. I have 72 stockpiled. Their infantry army is 180. All right. India. Yep, like I say, I, I'm throwing a lot of oil there because as soon as the um, United Kingdom guys start operating, they're going to each each unit is going to use oil. So we've got to build up a stockpile of oil. Logistics is really the thing um, you've got to concentrate on. So New Zealand will be will be doing trucks. Okay. 
India has a lot of um, a lot of logistics. They have twenty shipyards. Let's take a look at in the Indian situation over here. All right, and we've got. Let's see, do we have anybody down here? No. Okay. All right, so we're going to need we're going to need a bunch of uh, of uh, United Kingdom troops in there. Notice there the Indians are at forty percent, United Kingdom at fifty percent. We're going to be getting another. Um, I believe we're going to be getting another. Let's see, Burma Corps. Hmm. So this guy over here isn't going to serve me a whole lot. Can you get on the rail? Okay, so I'm going to send him over there. And this will get us a um, another core or division at least division. Yeah, this would be a small division, I guess you would call it, with twenty. So we can put these two guys together. Okay. Everything's cool there. And just to make sure again that we've got all of our. Yeah. So nobody's going to be coming else on board. So this move made out. I I I um. I was really lucky there. They didn't counter me. This would have been the Guadalcanal campaign right here. Okay. Japanese have pretty much moved into their real war positions. And now let's concentrate on China here. Let's move him up there. And I'm thinking about backing off here, but I'm not sure. Come on, man. Okay, let's go this way. And let's go that way. And now, let's hammer this guy. Move him over there. Ugh, that's probably a bad move because now I'm vulnerable. We've got to. That helped a lot. That helped a lot. Alright, now let's take a look and see if we can push this guy out. Hmm. Alright, nine supply, six, 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 six. Okay. So we'll move him in there. Alright. 
in the normal game, in the historical. What I found is is this is this was the way to attack them. Because down here supply is really bad. So up here we've got much better supply. So this is where we want to attack. We need to attack, but we need to attack intelligently because we just don't want to... See, that's two to one. To do it, let's do it. Three to one. Come on. Okay. We have to, but we have to inflict casualties on these guys, or else they're going to just build up huge armies, and we're going to be hurting. Let's see what do we got here, partisans. So we got Japanese submarines in our in our shipping lanes. We've only got one. Well we've got we've got three, okay, good. So we got three there. All right, so there we go. I think that'll do it. Let's see what happens in the turn. I, I wanted to take this place here. But I think I'll leave it. And see if the Japanese go in there because if the Japanese go in there then I'll be able to I'll be able to attack them. It's not as if this is a really big supply area either. It's it's a poor supply area. So no counterattacks by them, it appears. But stand by for more merchant losses. Let's see here. Japan has changed their codes. Again, we don't, you know, I think what I might do is I might try to, what I'll do is, as I will put these two together and see if that increases my um, ability to um, interdict their supply lines. Let's take a look now real quick. One of the things we needed to know was if Australia, let's see if they, oh, they got their, they're getting some uh, supply now, oil. Okay, good, that's good, that's good. Partisan activity. All right, let's come over here. These guys will, 
these guys yeah, take that back because okay okay join him and this guy all right so Bring him all the way down here. Yeah, let's move him down there. And now, we're gonna have to bring him over here. And like I say, um, the moment we move those units, the more it's going to cost an oil, so we got to keep that oil going. I'm not sure, sure if we're able to, let's see, let's bring him. down here so we can swap these guys out things looks pretty stable here what do we got going here one ship with a transport two ships how about over here 16 ships So, yeah, we really need to. It's a bomber group. All right, so let's take a look at the. I could move him over here. It's 20 of 20 supply. I always hate to do that without having a an infantry unit. Okay. He's close support. So for right now, that's good enough. You can always change him to um, naval air if we need him. Another garrison. So these guys are slowly up upgrading their garrisons. He's at 10, 10, 7. So that's why I have a, um, I have high, let's see, put him in there. Japanese subs have left. Let's see what we've got going here. All right, so we're getting another British Corps. Go help the Indians. November for merchants there. Soviet Union. September. Canada. India. And New Zealand. So let me take a look here. So Canada. Canada, I'm going to have to use them to build uh, merchants, it looks like. That's going to take a while. New Zealand, I'll, I'll use to build um, trucks. 
All right, so what do we got here? Okay. We need to build up a lot of oil here for our for the British Navy. How many? We've only got one core in the um, build crew. We've got another one there too. So we have one there, right? One there. One there. So that's two and three. Okay, so. And these guys are building up. What is he doing? We're just gonna we're gonna just gonna hold the line there for now. All right, so let's go. Let's just real quick check advancements. How are we doing here? The United States long range submarine here pretty soon. We just got this advancement. And I think if you hold something for six with six, that'll take them almost the whole war to get get to the end. Seven will advance them faster. So it's March of forty-two. We're getting ready to go to forty-three and carrier ops. My l large warships really could use some more. In the end, I'm not going to. In the end, I'm not going to be able to um, um, invade. Invade. So, having these long-range fighters, I need them. I I would need them, but. With strategic bombers. Anti-submarine warfare is really hurting me. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll leave it like it is. And I don't think I I don't I don't have anybody else to deploy, right? China, Australia, Canada. India, New Zealand, Australia is doing better now. Canada using for merchants. India, India, you know. I think we can hold with what we've got, to be quite honest. I think we can hold with what we've got. The, Chinese, the Japanese seem to be quite content just to hold that area up there, so... I don't know, I've got 20 points down here. Army... 
is 234. I'm going to go ahead and buy merchants. That's that's probably not a very good idea. But in the long term, and these take a long time to, uh, this is, you know, six months. In the long term, the logistic side, I think, pays off. And what we have to do is, like, as you see with my Americans, I'm buying carriers and all this other kind of stuff. We're, we're, we're shooting for the, the long term here. The short term problem is over here in China. All right, let's see here. Nope. But these guys. Let's see, you got a six there. Huh? He's only at one. One to one. Darn! Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Kick him out. Can't afford to do more than that. You will now need reinforcements. You're doing okay. How about, can we attack him? Let's attack him. I love it when they go down to zero. And then they don't, then nothing happens. There we go, finally, we destroyed him. He's going to need to go up. He's going to need to go up. 23. He's definitely going to need to go up, given that he survives. He's at 26. And he's facing the seven guy here. But bad supply over there. Okay. He should be okay. He should be okay. He he needs to come up. Look, notice how he's got, he's got nine. I'm gonna give him, tell him to get more reinforcements because when this guy, one of these guys moves in, we're gonna have to fight him. Probably asking too much re reinforcements there. I would love to be able to attack these guys. Zero to one. One to three. Three to one. Very poor. I don't know. Should I move him here? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I really would like to be able to take this guy out. He needs to go up. About three to one odds. Damn! All right. All right. Let's take a look at forces. They have 
167 in fleets. We have 132 casualties. Japan, 136. China, 104, suffering. Okay, so that'll have to do that. So let's find out what happens in China here. China always It's it's the it's, you know, while you're building up to fight to, to take the fight to the Japanese, this is the most important theater. China is your most important theater. Oh, we've got another another amphibious uh, assault there. All right, like I say, you know, you just turn up the experience and um, effectiveness just one notch, and all of a sudden the Japanese get a lot more aggressive. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Looks like I've got another invasion I'm going to have to take care of here. China. China! There we go, and we finally sunk a, uh, another merchant marine, a merchant marine of the of the uh, Japanese by putting this two, a second, second guy in together with him, and they've gone up to assault advancement forty. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So unit has no source. Oh, oh yes, what do they got? Three ships there with two BBs, okay. And a one in five um, for their attacker, that's gonna be difficult for them to, to win that. Eh? All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's come down here. You go there. What do we got over here? What are you doing over here? Let's see. Should I bring him? Bring him over there. All right. Uh oh. Chinese, the uh, Japanese subs coming back out. now okay so we need to get rid of the ships first off let's take a look at Reinforcements, real quick. Wasp will be coming out soon. 
Australia, Canada, India, uh huh. Eight. Oh, that's good. All right. No other reinforcements, right? Bought all the light carriers. And I believe. So you have merchants here. You buy any other merchants? We've got we have twenty merchants coming. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to buy some more merchants. Submarine group, 96. Out come the submarines. One, two, three, four. Four submarines. And I think that's about it, huh? China. Stockpile of seven, you know, I mean. Come on. Australia. It's going to be a while for her to build more troops. Canada headed for merchants. Communist China. This one we want an army, but it's going to take a while. India. India's doing okay. 234 for the next infantry car. And New Zealand creeping up there. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, these guys are all squashed in right now. Don't like that. And then move him up there him up there him down here oh look at that eight him over there Just leave that like that for right now. Let's, let's go back down here. Well, we have a problem here. All right. Let's take a look at my Navy. As you can see, all these battleships.
Alright. So we'll try the same thing as before. But I think... Let me see here. Naval air. Okay. We're going to take a swat at their aircraft carriers first. Or their ships. Naval airstrike. Okay, their cruiser took one. This is, for me, this is why getting that air down there really is important. I'm going to need to get trucks so I can keep these guys high too. Another airstrike. Okay. Looks like we got... Oh, we sunk, the, we sunk the cruiser there. Okay, so there's only two battleships there now. Alright, so... So let's take one, two, three, three battleships. Let's go with four, four battleships, a cruiser, and two destroyers. All right, so up we go. Yikes. Okay, so one destroyer. Okay, so there was, that was a inter surface interdiction. And their um, battleship now has taken a couple of hits. So now we need to try to finish these guys. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's close to air support. Oh. Hit him. Hit him again. Three to one. Four to one. So we'll leave that at that. And lucky that he didn't come in here. Well, that, I think that would force the guy to fly off somewhere. I'm not sure. What are we looking at here? I mean, the Japanese have a lot of... They pulled this guy back. 16 ships. All right. So now let's look at the... Japanese theater here. This is getting really tough in here. I think if I swap him, he'll go down to one anyway. And if I don't swap him, all right, how much? Uh, he's going to lose everything if I do that. Sorry about all of that. I don't know. Looks like I'm going to have to shift some troops over here.
he is just sticking in the wind here. You go back there. You come back here. Two to an odds. Problem is this guy. You know, I'm thinking I almost have to pull back here. And I could always do that and move these guys all like that. Not this guy. Said three, twenty five. See, I do not want to go in there. Well, I could go here. These are twos. Arg. Let's see what we got going here. attack on them and then fall back. See, that's the problem. Four to one. That's a problem. Okay, so he will fall back there. Now you're going to come here, and we're going to do that. We don't have much more room to fall back, though. We don't have much room to fall back. All right, so... Let's see what happens. Look at that, 10. Ugh. And they're pushing 
towards Chongqing. Oof. We're in a very difficult situation now in China. There goes the Japanese submarines on me again. Three, six, seven merchants. Poof. Can of supply trucks added. Okay. Let's see what's going on down here. They brought more ships. I can air supply him for sh um, supplies. I'm not sure what that will do with my. We'll do that. Okay. And I see the. It's got three ships there. This is a great opportunity to unload on their on their surface navy. Hit them again. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, not very good. Mm -hmm. Close air support. Hmm. Now, if I attack this guy, this guy should support. And he's overrun. Good man. Okay. Three ships. What do, what do we? What do we? What do we have here? We have an airstrike, so we have two cruisers and a destroyer. So let's let's go ahead and hammer them. Well, that didn't turn out so well. Surface combat. Fender got no losses. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What, what, are you, what is he again? Two cruisers. So, what do we got going here? Or should we let? Problem is that is that the these guys are going to have to go a long way. Although it's only one. All right. Let's um. See here. Well, I know this isn't historical. Let's give them torpedo attack, shall we? All right. So let's try this one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Bring him out here. Well done, mate. Surface interdiction. Both sides launch torpedoes. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we got here going here. Yeah, we help that out. Parts and activities. This guy. This guy. Aye. Can we actually do anything with this here? And it's still only one to two. And look at these guys. Now, coming up here. Right, they're interdicting here. Six ships. Put this core on some ships. Bring them up for. Getting over there. Thing is, so this isn't going to do a snot. Let me see. You come up there. You take the railway down here. Not gonna be able to get over there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that, and I think that's um that's a pretty good that's a pretty good turn there once again keep they keep attacking me over here I just don't know how I'm gonna sort this out how am I gonna sort that out Looks like they're intent on getting this to fall. So again, we're going to probably end up having to fall back. I mean, all right. Let's take a look at. Yeah. Enforcements. Wasp is ready. What about the America? Merchant ships coming in July 17th. We've got a whole snot load of merchants coming in. We need to do that. And we've also got these submarines coming in. And let's take a look real quick. Forces.
China them there yeah, holding out eh? UK land forces slowly increasing Japan taking losses one merchant lost so far we're now up on them in um, naval losses we're closing in on them for total fleet so I oh know we're gonna have to we'll, we'll we're gonna call that um, how much how much fuel does he have left here swordfish only has two okay Here down here, grailing. Yep, she can come back up here. So I need all kinds of stuff. I need to somehow, somehow stabilize the situation up here, but it's looking really difficult. All right, and I think the only way. The only way will be to get these British troops over here so I can start some attacks. So we'll call that um, the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, we'll see you later.